So, why was Tyr helping Odin meet with the Giant Kings? Well, this was when the Long War was young, and victory was still a thing dreamed of, and the Jotnar might have tipped the balance between Aesir and Vanir. Odin had persuaded Tyr that the hammer was merely a deterrent, a means to broker peace from a position of strength. Tyr was hopeful to convince all parties they would prosper best through peace. He knew the giants were deeply concerned about the hammer, a super weapon in hands they did not trust. But they trusted Tyr. Tyr always believed the best in people, and taking Odin at his word and his desire for peace, he brought the Raven King to Jotunheim. Uh, from there, things unraveled quickly. The giants anticipated Odin's trickery and exposed his true agenda to spy and steal their secret wisdom. With magics, they expelled Odin from their realm and cursed him never to return. Frustrated, Odin visited his fury upon the giants of Midgard. Thor unleashed Mjolnir's might upon any giant he could find. None could stand against the tide of slaughter that followed. And at last, it seems, with Tyr's aid, they retreated. The tower disappeared, no giants could be found in Midgard, and no man nor god has set foot in Jotunheim since. It's Tyr, but the middle panel is missing. Wait, I thought Tyr was a god, not a giant. Ah, but he was loved by everyone, including the giants. Other than me, he was the only one they gifted with their special sight. Hey, I wonder if the giants left a triptych about me somewhere too. I wish I'd known I was a god in Elfheim. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. Well, I'm not sure that's the lesson. You've done nothing to regret. The elves forced their affairs upon us. No, I get it now. We had god things to do, and they were in the way, dragging us into their little problems. Again, are we just leaving that there? I mean, just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much stronger. Maybe you feel a little too good right now. With power comes a big choice, lad. You can either serve yourself, or put your godhood in the service of others, like Tyr did. People really loved him, huh? Aye. A god of war, but one who fought for peace. Had a reputation for being heroic and lawful, using his power and knowledge to stop wars rather than start them. So there are good gods. Once in a moon it's been known to happen, yes. This one mentions places I've never heard of. Seems Tyr really liked to travel. Tyr believed the mind, not might, was key to preventing war and chaos. And he also knew visiting other cultures would give him perspective staying in one place could not. While Odin always hoarded knowledge, guarding it jealously, Tyr was open and sharing with his learning and his wisdom. For this, mortals adored Tyr, showing their love by bringing him gifts the world over. So, whatever happened to Tyr? Odin came to regard him as a threat to his rule. He suspected Tyr of collaborating to aid the giants instead of helping to steal their secrets from Aesir. Same thing he accused me of, frankly. Though in Tyr's case, I believe he was right. You think Tyr was helping the giants? I do. He felt responsible for the suffering visited upon them by Odin. I suspect he had something to do with helping them cover their tracks. The missing Yonan town. Correct. Whatever happened to it, I believe it could only have been done with Tyr and the Giants working together.
What'd you find? Enough distraction. Do not forget why we are here. Okay. That's from a great desert land, very far from here. Do gods live there? Oh my, yes. Many, many gods. Good or bad? Not as simple as that, I'm afraid. Father? Why did you leave your home and come here? Does it have to do with the other gods there? <laughs> it's just... You hate the gods so much. But Tyr proves that gods can be good. And you're good. You only killed those deserving, right? Yes. Ah, but who's worthy enough to judge? Quiet, Head. We are. We know better. Uh huh? Sounding more like your da by the moment. Ready. Ready. Come. Look at that! It's the missing panel about here. Odin must have stolen it. But why? He always has his reasons. Might I have a look? Well, this is most unexpected. Why? What does it mean? I haven't the foggiest. Isn't that unexpected? Head. Look, clearly that's Tear. Traveling somehow. Perhaps magically. But what's that to do with the giants that they should devote a shrine to it? I'm afraid that is none too clear. What are those runes in the corners? Not runes. Symbols from different lands. They mean... War. Aye. How do you... This one I know too well. Oh. His eyes. They are jewels. Like yours. No doubt signifying the gift of sight the giants granted us. Give me a closer look. Interesting. Very interesting. What is that? Secret plans concealed by Tyr so none could access but him. And those few others the giants trusted. And right under Odin's nose. Ho ho ho! I did promise I'd get you to Jotunheim. What do you mean, Ed? You said we were out of options. Don't you see, brother? Odin never gave up hope, and neither should we. He knew there was a clue in here, but we're the ones who found it. These plans are for a key to some chamber Tears kept hidden. I don't know where it's leading or what we'll find, but it's a path. How do we make this key? I suggest we ask a dwarf. Can you make it? Is it a weapon? Armor? Or likewise an instrument of war, of which I'm a master at shaping? No? Then forget it. Even if I wanted to make such an insignificant goo-gaw, I'm liable to chink my tools working on something so delicate and ladylike. Then shingle it. Pattern weld the item with scap slag. Keep the layers thin. Alternate the overlay. Okay, smart guy. And where do you propose to find a lump of quality scap slag? Last time I saw one, I could still get rigid down south. Shut your mouth, is that... Where did you... I had to get my hands dirty. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't just stand there. Let's do this. What? You? You're fine with working on something that's not a weapon? Oh, hell, why not? 
What? I can grow too. Oh, watch, watch the spine. Keep your wrist loose. No, you keep your wrist loose. Yeah, I need more heat here. Coming up. You gonna temper that steel longer? You don't need to. I triple quenched it with Drago. See, how inventive and sanitary. You clever little beaver. Never too late to learn a new trick, is it? <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah. Here it is. Nope. Don't forget this. No, oh, quit your grinning. It's downright unsettling. It's just nice to see you together. But now the rune on your brand looks different. Yeah, price of uh, reforging something what broke. I knew it. You two love each other. Oh, cut it out, Francis. You're gonna get me all weak. I like the new one better. Don't you? We have work to do. No. We're inside. But what is this place? Your guess is as good as mine, little brother. Travel room. But why is the floor on the ceiling? Those realm doors seem to mirror the ones above. Up there, Tyr used the same magic to protect the Black Rune. The clue we seek may be inside. Right next to the Udenon door. Interesting. But can we reach it? Not from here. For Jotunheim. That's right. And look, we're on the other side of the door. The upside down door. What are you thinking? Stand back. Okay. It's moving. What's moving? Everything. <laughs> Extraordinary. The whole room is built on some kind of axle. There's chains on both sides. Without those... <clears throat> we can flip the temple. All right. Do you... what now? I think they're attacking. Want me to read them? Boy, on the statues. I see them. It says boy. Hmm. Ominous. Go on. Read. Before the first, after the last. Nothing between, no shadow cast. Alpha. Are you quite sure flipping the temple is the only way to reach them, whatever it is? You said there would be a path. 
The temple can be flipped. Therefore, we flip the temple. The logic is unassailable. sure what happens when we recklessly upend a room that's rooted to eight other realms. I'm curious, of course, but it's a leap to imagine it gets us to Jotunheim. I don't mind a leap. Well, who knows? Perhaps you and Tyr are the same kind of mad. An army of statues. I don't think they're the kind that come to life, if that's what you're worried about. Tyr often said that in the world of PC envisioned, the only soldiers he'd need would be statues. Bless his heart, but the bugger did take himself rather seriously, didn't he? There, where the chains meet. We must find a way around. I know what I promised, but in case this doesn't work, just remember, Tyr had good cause to create these obstacles. He's kept Jotunheim out of Odin's reach, but the world is hardly at peace. No, but it's got hope. We're all working together now. We have unity. That's what the rune on the door to this place was telling us. We're on Tyr's path. Lift with your legs, brother. He knows. Just trying to be helpful. I'll be quite happy to be on your side, brother. And we're not dead. That's a plus. There, on the left. I think we can climb back up to the realm travel room from there. Oh, he's right, you know. I see it too. A place to climb up back where he did the flipping. See that, Mimir? Nobody can do all this alone. All these obstacles. They're just chances to prove we're the ones who can beat them. We may argue, me and father, you and Freya, Brock and Sindri, but when we all work together, we do make a good team. And that's Tyr's test. That's why we're gonna make it to Jotunheim. Do you hear that, brother? Lad's found his equilibrium. What's that mean? He means you speak wisely, Atreus. And that is good to hear. I guess the temple was made to be flipped. Look, the tree's upside down. Or are we? I'm not sure anymore. Roy, your knife. What have we got? Some sort of travel stone. Let me see. Great our dumbless others. That's the Unity Stone. You know it. I wasn't sure it existed. If Tyr possessed this, that explains how he could visit all the realms and other lands to boot. He held this. In the panel at Odin's library. Yes. Yes, that's it. I understand now. It shows Tyr walking the realm between realms. You know how you must never stray from the path. Well, Tyr always followed his own path, if you catch my meaning. 
The realm between realms. So you're saying Kier Shrine showed him stepping off the branch of the world tree. And you're thinking to reach the secret path to Yodanon, that's what we need to do? I am. Oh dear. That is what you're thinking, isn't it? If you're thinking about hurling us all into the void, I hope you're quite sure. Wasn't it your idea? Find our own path, right? Bollocks. This is where Tyr stepped beyond, and the Unity Stone protected him. Ready? Ready. Well, if this is it, lads, it's been an honor. Our faith head. This is incredible! How can I be so nauseous without a stomach? Come on, that was great. Look. The tower. I knew there was something down here. Amazing. How do you hide something that exists in all realms? Cast it out of any realm to the space between. Clever old tear. Is Jotunheim on the other side? Can't be that. It's not like you go through Vanaheim to reach the Midgard peak. But how do we use it? I'd suggest we look inside, but stay alert. Tyr's little challenges are never as simple as they appear. I have noticed. Well, this is sparse. The pedestal. Absorbing the stone's energy. Something's happening. Is it moving? It's moving. It knows what to do. The stone served its purpose. We're fulfilling Tyr's spell. What happens now? No idea, brother. But after that fall, I'm sure we're past the worst of it. Look, we're back in Midgard. There's the bridge. We did it. The tower's back where it belongs. Now Tyr's travel room can take us to Jotunheim. How did Tyr do this? Odin suspected the giant secretly possessed some remnant of primordial Jotnar creative essence, the stuff all realms are made of. The Unity Stone must have been fashioned from that essence. To trust an outsider with it, even Tyr, tells you just how desperate they were. And look, now we can finally light all the braziers and see what happens. All right. Last one. Going to. <laughs> Thought we could have used that when we fought the Valkyrie Queen. I don't know what we'll find when we get to Jotunheim, but we must cover our tracks. Odin's ravens will tell him of the tower's restoration, and we mustn't let our efforts be to his benefit. Very well. isn't going to work. What? There's no travel crystal. Tyr must have used his own eyes to refract the energy. It was his final failsafe. You've got eyes like him, Mimir. I've got an eye. One! 
Odin plucked out my other eye precisely to keep me from traveling. Sorry, lads. Thought that would work. What did Odin do with your other eye? He'd have kept it. In any of a hundred places, I'm afraid. We've come so far. There has to be a way. Look, a bit of a long shot. But for years, I'd see Sindri, sometimes Brock, lurking around in that mountain when Odin came for his visits. Maybe they know something. Brock and Sindri! Question for you. Anyone know where we can find Mimir's other eye? Oh. <laughs> That's... <laughs> I'm sorry. As a matter of fact, Odin asked me to... <laughs> he wanted me to build a... <laughs> he showed it to me, you see, and I... <laughs> the coin. Sorry. Will you... Excuse me? Who? Well, that was useless. You know, it was about that same time that Odin came around looking for me to build a statue with some sort of hidden compartment. Now, that not being a weapon and the Aesir being a bunch of pock-speckled cockers, I too saw fit to decline. But I know he got it built just the same. What was the statue? It's that one of Thor out there flashing his sack to the oh. lake. The statue that the serpent ate. Sorry about that. Feeling much better. How are we supposed to look inside the snake? Inside? Oh no! We'd better go see what the world serpent has to say about that. Once more to the horn. It might still be in his stomach. Um, and he's open to letting you go into his mouth to look inside. Ew. Really? By the by, he's not wild about it either. <sighs> well, brothers, I've been to many strange places, but this will be a new one. <laughs> yeah, I've never been in the giant's belly either. How about you, Father? Never one that was not trying to eat me. You really should expect that sort of response at this point. An eye. Maybe you should stick that in my head for safekeeping. Gently now, gently. Thank you, brother. You don't miss depth until it's gone. Here we go! I can't believe we're gonna see the giants! Well, if things 
work according to plan. <clears throat> Go ahead and lock in Jotunheim and we'll be on our way. Probably. Boy, we're ahead. Get ready. Oh, right. Got it. Let's hope this doesn't cause you to explode or anything. Oh, hadn't considered that. Maybe we should talk about this a bit more. Nah, I'm sure you'll be fine. Ready? Oh, that's unpleasant! Now, boy! Think it's far? We will see. 